Christopher and Dominique. You're going to be... Look, this is stage number one. You're going to sort the beans, and you are going to only get one tablespoon, one scoop. Put them in the middle of the sorting tray, and you're going to think, how can you sort them? What are some ways you can sort the, the beans? Yes. And maybe you can sort by color, but you got to look carefully. What else are you going to do? The same. the same what? The same. But you're on the right track. How are they alike? But they're the same. Maybe shape, right? Maybe same size. Anything else? Same kind of seed. The same kind of seed. So you're going to use your, um, you can use a magnifying glass to observe them carefully and think how you can sort them. And then you're going to do your habitat book. You can do either one first. A habitat book. And boys and girls, we've been learning about habitats. What's a habitat? Do you remember? You got them coughing. Dominic. Animals. Okay, so a habitat is a, is a what? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. A habitat is the place where plants or animals live and survive. Where they can find their food, where they can be safe, okay? So you are going to write your name and make sure you read this, the bubble part. And you have to read this. Probably, I'm going to say, I am a fish. My habitat is the. And where do fish live? In water. Because they could live in the water. Where else could fish live? In the sea. Anywhere else? The ocean. Yes. Um, in, in, in that. Okay, maybe the aquarium. Okay, anything else? The pond. So wherever the fish in live, the in the what? In the the okay. You're going to sound out the, the words, okay? And this is, I am a pig. My habitat is the mud. 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 But, um, or the farm. And if, you know, I like to how um, Austin drew some, like, mud on the pig. Because why, 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 why did you do that the other day? Because, because that's what they used to protect their body. That's what the um, pigs used to mud. They rolled them up to protect their body from what? The sun or the... Sun or the Anything that could hurt them, and they're, they use their nose to do what? To, to dig for food. That's where they find food to eat. Yes. We saw pigs at the farm. We went to um, Homestead Park. Those pigs were. Yeah. Okay, so that's station number one. Station number two, you get to um, read books at the Science Center. You get to smell and observe carefully, boys and girls. This is our um, spearmint, and guess what? You can actually do what with the spearmint? Eat it. You can taste it if you want. You can smell it. Back a long time ago when the toothbrush was not invented, people used the spearmint and they squish it and they put it in their teeth. You know why they did that? What are spearmint used for nowadays? Toothpaste. And toothpaste. Before toothpaste was invented, they used that to clean their teeth. They didn't have toothbrush it's, it's or a, it's toothpaste. A, it's, and guess it's what? A Last week, I let you taste the oh, spring no. onions. But guess what? This week, I want you to nope. observe Going carefully. There's something over there. If you Going observe carefully, painting. you'll find why you cannot eat it today. Okay, so if you observe it carefully, you will be able to see why this... Um, the spring onions are not safe to taste, but the spearmint are still safe to taste. You also be able to smell, use your senses to smell, to touch my fresh cut flowers. Oh, yeah. I smell the this. What is happening to this fresh cut flower? Do you know? The water is dirty. The wa I, oh, you use your eyes to the That's waters why. are dirty. And what else do you notice? Because scientists notice, they observe carefully. Uh, what else do you notice? Are they growing? Are they growing? Yes. Do you notice anything here? It died. It's dying. It's dying. It's dying. I wonder why. Why it's, do you think it's dying? Because the water is dirty. Or maybe because the water is dirty. Anything it, else? It's because, it's because the flower is dirty, dirty on, on summer. 
Oh, the flowers are dirty? I'm not sure. It's because it's because it's because it's dying on summer. Well, you know what? You get to observe this. You get to write in your journal what um, flowers like to smell. Okay. Like, oh, I have another surprise. Alvin, do you think you can sit in your chair? I have a surprise for you. What? You ready? Come what on, is, I'm gonna show you. What is, what is it? Sit down, we'll share my surprise. What table sit. are I going? Um, you are going to go at table two. So sit. You can learn all about mammoths because I know you love mammoths. Okay? Um, sit right here. Uh, where's the mammoth? Oh, I'll show it to you. Guess what? I was working so hard. Another book for you to look and read. Look at this. What do you think this says? Tail. What does this say? Tail? Animals. Whose tail does it belong to? So I add, I need another book for you That's to look carefully, but you're going to open the book yeah, and you're going to have to use it's what, it's um, what you know whose tail that it belongs to. So I'm going to put this at table three. You want to hold on to it? Okay. Um, table four. Uh, table it three is going to do the living things book. Put it on table three. That's a good boy. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, table two is going to be Adana, Elvin, Vikram, and Michelle. You're going to go to table number two. Table number three, table Dominique. Um, Dominique, actually, she's not here. Austin and Angela. You are going to do the Living Things book. You can, because we're going to the zoo next week, are we going to the zoo? I put some zoo animals in there for you. And you can sound out. You're going to sound out the words, draw the picture, maybe draw their... Um, have to where they live. Okay? To give you an example. If your work is done, put it here. If it's not, I mean, if it's done, put it here. If it's not, put it in your work folder. Okay? So I'll put this on the table. And you get to use your senses to smell the senses at the table. And maybe you can even taste something there. And learn more about um, those senses. Table number four, you get to observe. And that's going to be Stephen, Divya, Amal, and Roberto. Observe a little garden and see what's happening in there. And guess what you're going to do? If you really want to, to be super smart and challenge yourself, who thinks that they're ready for a challenge? Raise your hand. Oh, you are terrific. Well, if you want to challenge yourself, you observe what you see. If you see roots, you can tell me what is the, what's the roots' job. What's the roots do for the plants? Okay? So you say, I observe the roots. The roots hey, does what? Absorb the water for the, yeah. the plants. Okay? When you hear my bell, you're going to rotate if your job, if your work is done. Okay? So.